everyone talks about, obviously, you know, from NICE, everybody says you have any any shell shot already, uh, no matter if you're playing in college or not. And uh, you saw these other guys go through it um, already, the experience. And they always say that, you know, the only, only person that can know if you're ready is that individual player themselves. Um, just like, do you feel like you're you're ready to to take the next step and, um, you know, at some point here, uh, the summer, you know, turn pro whenever that is? Yeah, I think I'm. I think I'm. Uh, I, I'm kind of living the moment now, and I'm not super ready to make that decision yet. I think as a player, once that time comes, I'll I'll be able to decide it on the spot. I think uh, right now, I still obviously I really don't know, and it's <laughs> kind of weird to say, but I honestly have no idea. Like once that day comes where it comes to my mind, and you know my gut's telling me the right thing, what to do, then I'll I'll go with that. But. Right now, I mean, it's I love being in college and I love playing college hockey with you know all of my best friends. So, yeah, and was, let's, let's let's put it this way: like you know, nice that we he came back for a reason. He came back because he wanted to be a little more mature. He wanted to do certain things. When you decided to come back, what were some things on your checklist? You said, "Hey, I want to do this." Other than, of course, you know, winning a national championship was a big motivator, I'm sure. But what were the things you said? Hey, this is something I want to work out in my game to kind of get myself ready. Yeah, I think be a leader and be, you know, a more detailed player. And I think last year I was kind of got away from details quite a bit. I think it was kind of more uh, producing focus, whereas I needed to mature as a person and realize that, you know, this is a team and, you know, we're, this is, uh, you know, we're, we could possibly not be as good. So I need to mature as a player and, you know, hopefully win a national championship with this team. So I think the leadership part has gone really well, just kind of bringing in all the freshmen and, the details in my game have improved so much since last year, just kind of the, the small little things, the small little aspects of my game. Do you have a minute to talk a little bit about just the, the draft experience as a whole back in 2022 and what it's, I mean, really just soaking the entire moment in? Yeah, it was really, really cool. I think it all started, you know, obviously that draft morning, just kind of wanting the day to go by quicker so you can be sitting down in your chair at the draft. But um, once it came, it's it was really special moment and then obviously Slavkowski went first and you know the whole rank was going pretty wild because Wright was predicted first since he was 13 years old so I mean to see that to start it off the day was pretty crazy and then the trades happen and then you know a couple of guys your teammates get picked and you see them walking down they'll give them a hug and you're so happy for them as a person and you see them walking up on the stage and then you know you hear your name get called and it's like well like this is this is happening right now so you hug your family members and then you walk down the stairs and you're kind of blacked out obviously and there's nothing you can really do but smile and then you shake Gary Bettman's hand and it's like, it's all kind of a blur, but you, you go up and, you know, shake all the, or for me, it was the blues staff hand. And then you go down and uh, do all the media stuff. And it's really hard to kind of take in the moment because everything's happening so fast. And then by the snap of your uh, fingers, it, the night's kind of over and you're hanging out with all your buddies at wherever we were, but it, it was really nice to just kind of be in that moment. And, you know, you know, we had, we all got, you know, picked that night and, you know, obviously some guys didn't and I was so happy to see them get picked the next day too. Was there other teams? I know you interviewed probably with a bunch of them. Was there another team you're like, Oh, this team picked a couple of tips before, before St. Louis that they were to take you and there are teams you thought might've been in the mix there. Before? Yeah. I think it was kind of anywhere in that uh, 20 to 25 range is kind of where I thought I was going. I thought, you know, maybe Minnesota could have taken me a 19, but I know they, I, uh, talked with them at the combine and you know obviously I wasn't sure how I was going to go but you know I think that where I got picked I'm so happy and I'm so you know fortunate enough to be with the Blues and you know it's a great time to be with them right now. What was the weirdest interview question you had leading up to the draft? Uh, uh maybe Montreal it was it's not super weird they just asked me uh what animal I am on and off the ice. <laughs> <laughs> I gave them this, yeah. I, I gave a really normal answer. I don't know. I just think I said like a, I can't remember, like a lion on the ice or something. Like, like a, I can't remember what I said for off the ice, but it was just like normal questions all day. And then you walk into Montreal's and they ask you what animal you'd be. It kind of just catches you off guard. Nice. <laughs> Some fans wanted us to, to ask you too, what's your impressions of St. Louis as a city uh, being there like that? Like, what were your overall thoughts on, on the town itself? Yeah, it's cool. I mean, to go to Dev Camp, we did a, we went to a ball game and we went uh, go karting and paintball too. So I think I really like the town. I like the city. I, I'm kind of a big baseball guy too. So I love going to the Cardinals game and watching that. It's 
super hot though, which is <laughs> kind of the same as Minnesota, but it, it is really hot there. So, you know, we stocked up on water, but I, I do like the city a lot. One more for me, uh, from fans who wanted to ask to ask, uh, other than you, what what about one of your teammates for the Gophers you played with or the World Juniors has the best, the best shot? Oh, I mean, I have to go with Gauthier. I think his shot is, I mean, above all remarks, it's, it's pretty amazing. Just kind of his release point, and you know, he shoots in every situation too, I think. So, I mean, he obviously scored against Finland to win it too on that uh, power play. But, I mean, he's had that shot since he was a 17 too at NTDP. So, 